guys welcome to my channel my name is Madeline if you're new if not welcome back so today we are in my dressing room chilling in front of this window because my favorite place to take selfies best lighting all that jazz a couple quick disclaimers before the video one my air conditioning is on it's like 100 degrees outside sue me you are going to hear that white noise um, and if it bothers you I'm literally so sorry but I didn't want to die filming this so it's on and second of all again like I said earlier we are actually filming in front of a window using natural lighting right now none of my studio lights are up so the lighting may change throughout the video um, like if you fast forward and stuff you might be like what like what? it's different now it's because I'm filming in front of a window so hello natural lighting hello sunlight come through so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed and blended and made these balayage hair extensions look so super duper cute in my really short 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 blunt hair um, and if you guys want to see how I achieved this how I do my quick curls then just keep on watching okay so if you are like me and you have super 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 short hair um, then you know that putting clip-in hair extensions in is like it's any type of hair extensions is like nearly impossible so please ignore how like flat and gross my hair is right now um yeah ignore that it just comes to my shoulders right out there and um you know i ended up chopping it all off because i was like it's easier to fake long hair than it is to fake short hair that way i can have the best of both worlds but i had to learn certain tips and tricks on how to rock hair extensions when my hair is so blunt and choppy so i do have another video um showing you guys kind of how i do or blend my hair extensions with my short hair today's video is going to be more focused on how i blend balayage extensions with my short hair because it does come as an advantage having short hair especially around shoulder length because balayages typically start right about there um, where they kind of work up the hair but then they go um, into completely different color from here down so when you want balayage extensions and you have short hair it's a lot easier to get away with them when your hair is already really short and kind of blends in with where the color transition happens so in the last video I did blending my hair extensions I never showed you guys how I pin up my hair I think I literally just started with it pinned up so I will link that video um, after this video I'll also put like a little thing up here so you guys can check it out but I'm actually going to show you guys how I do this so I start with my hair like this and I go from my ears up towards the crown of my head like this and this is all the hair right here that the clip-ins are going to hold on to and blend with so I'm going to toss that away and then the rest of the hair that you see here, all of this hair, so more than half of my hair is going to be pinned back because if I left this part down, no matter how thick the extensions are, no matter you know how good you think they're going to blend, you'll be able to see, especially when you pull your hair all forward to set it right here in your chest, you'll be able to see right here these little short hairs. They're, they're going to stick out no matter what. This right here is going to be the number one trick on how I blend my extensions. So this can be super messy. Literally all you're going to need is a ton of bobby pins. Sometimes I use hair ties, but sometimes I don't. So I'm just going to take it and do, I think this is called a French twist or a Dutch twist, but it's just when you like twist and grab more hair as you go. I am literally going to do this to the first half of the hair right here. And then once I get to about halfway, I'm going to twist it all up real tight and lay it flat against my head. I'm going to turn around so I can show you guys. So I can't see if I'm in focus or anything, but you see how it's messily done. I'm just going to pin it just like that. I'm going to hold it in place because it's definitely not secure yet, but I'm just going to take more pins and just keep pinning it to make sure it's flat to my head. You want this part to be really secure because it's going to feel so unsafe if this is like falling apart and then the same thing just gonna take it and twist you could totally french braid it you can do anything you want to secure it this is just what i think holds the best so yeah i'm just twisting it into a twist until i get all of the hair then i'm going to twist it and put it flat against my head okay and then we are going to oh god i dropped the bobby pin then we're just going to secure it in place just like we did with the first one okay so that part is pretty simple 
once you have that step done you're already like a majority of the way there this just has to be pinned up and out of the way so the hair extensions that I'm gonna be using today are duh amazing beauty this is my favorite hair extension brand by far um, I've been doing videos with them for years now it's like my favorite favorite hair extension brand they're thick they don't fall apart they don't shed they last forever I feel like they don't really get damaged so I just quickly want to show you guys what you get when you order a pack of their clip and hair extensions so this is 140 grams 20 inches in the color B218 invest in your hair it's the only crown you never take off um, so it's really really cute when you open the box your hair extensions duh come in there But I have them out setting in front of me, which I'll show you guys in a second But in there you get a little clip like this so that you can clip up your hair when you're putting your hair extensions in These are really nice every time I get them. I save these I love these for when I'm curling or straightening my hair Especially if I have extensions in then you're gonna get a rat tail comb. This is actually new I haven't gotten this with any of my other things But you actually get this little satin bag with these really pretty gold ropes uh, to hold your hair extensions. I was shook when I saw this because I was like, there's no way they're going to fit in there, but they fit in there. They do. Um, you roll them up really nice and you put them in here because you don't want to store them in a bag that gives them too much space because then they have room to like move around and get frizzy and damaged. When they're in a bag like this, especially a satin one, they can get thrown around and they're not going to really get super frizzy or damaged or anything like that. And then you get this little care card that says Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions. It has their like Instagram and socials right here. Um, and then you open it up and just has daily care it thanks you for purchasing um, it has washing instructions return policy which is really cool because a lot of hair extension brands don't let you um, even return the hair once it's opened for them they have these little um, ties holding the hair extensions together and once those are cut that's the official moment but you can open them examine them touch them smell them feel them you know to decide if you want to keep them or return them so they have a really cool return policy and they have never ever ever left me hanging in the past all right so here are the extensions they sent me again this is in the color b2 number 18 it's just like a balayage kind of color right now it looks crazy because it's all put into one piece but when my hair is mixed in there and when it's curled girl it looks so bomb so this is them um they're really silky really thick that ponytail is like she thick i feel like clip-in extensions always scare me when brands send them because i feel like they don't never send enough and i need a lot so love that the hair is always silky there's no shedding and they're pretty thick all the way down to the bottom so now one thing i will say about this color of hair extensions for me um i love 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 having the option of just not doing like straight dark brown but i will say i feel like genuinely they look a lot better curled i don't like to rock these straight or sleek if i'm gonna do straight and sleek it's gonna be a solid color so when i do this i definitely curl them and i'll show you guys how but for right now now I'm going to show you guys how I install them. Okay, so I'm going to take my first weft. This is a three clip weft. And I'm just going to put it just at the base of my neck, right here, uh, over top of the hair we pinned up. Okay? Easy. Also, one thing I quickly want to show you guys um, that a lot of my subscribers actually commented on in my last video was the fact that they have clip and hair extensions and they literally just tried to hook it in their hair. They didn't understand that the clips did this. So just like a barrette, like, you know, the kind you clip in your hair, they just bend open and then close shut. So um, that's crazy. I don't know if it's because I've been wearing hair extensions like my whole life, but like I remember seeing comments and I was like, what? People don't know that the, they were literally just like trying to clip them in and they were just falling out. So yeah, that's how it works. That's how clip-ins work. So I'm um, doing another three strand or three clip weft and going right above that. I feel like I don't really have to turn around. I feel like you can't hear me when I turn around. So I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm doing, but okay. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with a four clip weft and go right above that. This is pretty self-explanatory. I'm literally just clipping them in over top of the hair I pinned up. So it's kind of like creating hair that we completely took away when we pinned it up. Okay, I'm gonna bring it all forward for right now. Just like that, perfect. Okay. And then 
right at the parting of my hair, right where um, it goes to the hair that I have clipped up, I'm gonna add one more four clip weft, just like that. So I think that today, because I did a middle part in my sleek like extension blending video beforehand, I'm gonna do a side part. So I just need to decide where. Oh my god, can you imagine if someone, I literally, this is exactly what JWoww looked like season one through three of Jersey Shore, just like this. I'm letting some hair down, but then I'm gonna pin more back up. So I'm gonna pin all this back up. Pretend like that didn't even happen. So now we got all this hair that we gotta cover up. So this is where my two clip left start to come in handy. I'm just going to, sorry, I'm literally looking at myself in a mirror right here. Another trick, or another thing that I typically do when I'm putting these hair extensions in, um, I put them in literally as close to my forehead without being visible as possible so that it doesn't show any of these little like short baby hairs that I still have. Um, which when we curl it, that will all go away. So one thing that anybody who wears hair extensions knows is that when in doubt, if you just curl it, it'll blend. Um, I feel like whenever I see uh, videos on Instagram of people like with really short hair getting tape-ins or getting clip-ins put in and they're curled, I'm like, mm, you're not fooling me, girl. I know why you're doing that. Um, hold on, i got to focus and do my part right here. Okay, there we go. All right, so here's the part. All right, the next step is gonna be blending this all in. You see that? That's not cute. So curling it is going to always make it blend a thousand times better, um, which is fine. Like you can curl your hair, it is what it is. Uh, if you wanna see, I definitely, when I'm doing color, especially like this, um, I always curl it just to be safe so it doesn't look like crazy or I don't have um, any the difference between my hair and the blonde like really sticking out prominently so yeah I definitely recommend if you want to go with the sleek look to definitely just go with a solid color um, straighten it down real 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 sleek okay I'm kind of getting there even with the air conditioner on I'm still like a thousand and twenty million degrees right now So all the extensions are in, and I look like a season one Jersey Shore cast member, but it's fine. Trust me. It's fine. It's a look. It's a vibe. And I'm just moving some around because I noticed I, like, feel a little bit sparse right here. Okay. There we go. Alright. So, they're in. They're all in. So unlike my other video when I did the really sleek straight hair to blend it, um, I wasn't worried about blending colors and blending, you know, a balayage per se. I was all about sleek and making it all blend together. And today, we have to work on blending this balayage in with my short hair. So we're gonna do that with a curling wand. So I'm just gonna bring all the hair forward. I'm actually gonna show you guys how I curl my hair hella fast. There's a little, like I have a, I have a method. I do, and it gets it done really, really fast. Okay, I'm just gonna tuck this away. We'll start with the other side first. So I'm gonna tuck it, and I'm gonna take a little clip, and I'm gonna clip it. Okay, that side's put away. So we're gonna start with this side. You can see it's still a little bit curled because I've actually curled them before, but let me throw this back here. So cute little blonde moment. Okay, so right now the color is still a little bit harsh. That's why curling it is going to make it look so much more bomb. So the only parts that matter when you curl your hair is a top layer and the ends. That's how you're gonna know if your hair is curled or not. Nobody's gonna look like into the layers of your hair. So what I'm gonna do is split this into two sections and I'm just going to curl the bottoms. Oops, not that way. I'm just gonna curl the bottoms in two different directions that way, at least the bottoms are curled. So if I miss a hair, at least the bottoms are curled. You don't have any whole straight pieces, which is just not cute. That's not the move. So I guess we're just going to sit here for a while while I do this. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now there's just this like little bouncy curl. 
on the end and then I'm gonna do right here everything that's closer to the face aka this whole chunk is gonna go away away from the face this helps frame the face a ton oh okay. so so phase one is complete the bottoms of the hair are curled that already makes it look like oh my god like we curled our whole head but really girl we just curled the bottom so now we're just gonna worry about that top layer so I'm gonna start with this chunk right here and I'm just gonna curl it away from the face you don't really need a curling tutorial but like you can't tell where my hair ends or where the extensions start because it's curled all it's curled in it's all curled in together so we're gonna do that next piece opposite direction I'm gonna go this way So this method that I'm showing you um, of just curling the ends real fast and then curling the top layer actually gives your hair more length. I learned this technique, I guess, on my own because I've always struggled with losing inches if I curl my hair. Okay, so now you can see under here. So we're gonna grab a, not not all of that hair, just the hair that shows, a really thin layer of the hair that shows. I have always um, been a victim of losing inches. I'll come back to that piece losing inches when I curl my hair. I have always hated that. That's the one reason why I didn't ever really like curling my hair a ton because you lose like two or three inches from doing it. So I learned this technique from that but it ended up just being my super quick curling technique as well. Um, but yeah, like instead of curling your hair all the way up, especially um, underneath. So that bottom layer, it looks so long still because 75% of it is straight and just that bottom like little fourth is curled. So it still has basically all the length, except for the ends, um, which is my little, my little trick to making your hair look super long and luxurious. Okay, so now we're just gonna do this piece for her. Someone's gonna come for me and tell me I'm curling my hair wrong. I know, okay. I'm not the best at cutting my hair. I like doing it with a straightener, but I have a crappy straightener right now, so that's why we use the wand. Smooth as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. Okay. So now I'm just going to break through all these curls, shake them out, and break them up so they're not in big clumps like this. I even sometimes, I mean I probably still will, but I'll take a brush, okay? I used to be scared to do this, but honestly I like it. So I take a brush and just brush through, and then it just makes it curls real soft and, you know, silky and not super, I don't like it when they're really like parted and piecey, because then it makes my hair look like it's dirty, so. Just a quick little brush through, run your fingers through, and then I assess. So right now, honestly, I'm digging how the curls look. They look real soft and silky. Um, you don't want to go too crazy like running a comb through it or brushing it a ton of times because it will frizz up and you don't want that. But like one time through and then like if I ever feel like they got a little bit too frizzy, I literally take the whole thing and I go like this and just smooth it out and hope that works. But Look at that, we curled the whole side, but really, all that crap is uncurled, but you can't tell. Nobody's gonna be able to tell. Only me and you, sis. We're the only two who know. So now that I showed you how I did that, I'm gonna go to this side, curl it up real fast, and I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, so pay no attention to the light shift. I'm sitting in front of a window again, so the sun is changing and setting and moving. Literally so cute. Look at the difference curling it did. It literally made it look so blended and so nice. And So this is it from the back. So cute. So fierce. So fab. <laughs> so 
So that is it you guys for how I install and blend my balayage hair extensions with my short blunt hair. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to go check out Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions because they're cheap girl, they're a bomb, they always look good no matter what I do to them. Yeah, So I'll link everything down below for you guys so that you can go buy some. Show up looking like Shakira to any party. <laughs> you guys know the drill. Rate, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified each and every single time that I upload. So that is all I have for you guys. I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.